This is Katie Castanero. And Christian Faber. This episode is for the week of January 19th. This week we begin the character education lesson during common time. The theme for January is leadership. The freshmen have their lesson on Tuesday, January 20th, and the sophomores on Thursday, January 22nd. The homework depot will be open on Wednesday, January 21st from 6.45 a.m. to 7.45 a.m. The teachers will have a staff meeting from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. on Wednesday, January 21st. Attention juniors and seniors who plan on taking the ACT. The drive for 25 has begun. If you would like to improve your ACT reading score, stop into room 306 with Mr. Wolf every Wednesday morning this winter from 7.45 to 8.15 a.m. We will work on improving reading speed and comprehension. This is an absolutely free service and should be taken advantage of even if you already plan on taking the ACT review class. Any questions, please ask Mr. Wolf. Next week we continue the character education lessons during comment time. The juniors have their lesson on Tuesday, January 27th, and the seniors on Thursday, January 29th. The second round of map testing will continue for the freshmen and sophomores on Monday, January 26th, and Tuesday, January 27th during common time. Students will be dismissed at 1040 to take their math test on these classes. Make, make up exams will be Thursday, January 29th. Hi, I'm Kelly Murphy, and let's look at what some of the clubs and activities are up to. Both the JV and Varsity now have a record of 1 and 3. The canceled January 8th match against Cole City will be made up at a still undecided date. On Tuesday, January 20th, the team will be taking on the Sandwich Indians at Sandwich. On Thursday, January 22nd, the team will be hosting the Wilmington Wildcats. Now for the RC New Year Invitational Placing. Special kudos go out to Grace Wolf for placing in three categories and being a champion in both poetry reading and dramatic interpretation. Other placers were champions Lauren Adams in extemporaneous speaking and Malin Kahn in informative speaking. Third place finishes were Austin Willis in special occasion speaking and Christian Faber in humorous interpretation. Jordan Carnegie and Carson Anderson placed fourth in humorous duet acting and fifth place medals went to Malin Kahn in impromptu speaking and Austin Willis in original comedy. Hannah Griffiths won a finalist medal in poetry reading. On Saturday, January 24th, the speech team will be hosting the IA conference tournament. Congratulations to the RCHS Calculating Comments on their 6th place finish at the RCHS Invite on January 14th. Big kudos to Ethan Macca, Jesse Seibert, and Isabella Sharper on finishing first in their presentation on functions. Also, congratulations to the seniors on the non-trig team. They got first place in their category. The math team's next competition is the I-8 Math Contest on January 28th here at RCHS. That will do it for clubs and activities this week. Keep on clubbing, Comments! Hi, this is Austin Willis, and let's check in on the latest guidance gossip. This week we have two groups visiting Reed Custer High School. A representative from the Marines will be visiting RCHS during lunches on Wednesday, January 21st. A representative from JJC will be visiting Reed Custer High School during Comet Time in the cafeteria on Thursday, January 22nd. The Illinois PTA offers one-year non-renewable scholarships to two students in the state of Illinois who are planning to study in the field of education or an education-related degree. First place wins $3,000, second place wins $2,000. Interested applicants should have a GPA of 3.0 or above. Deadline for submission is February 15, 2015. For more information and to apply, please visit the website. As always, for more information about scholarships, check out the Guidance Counselor's blog. That's all the gossip we have this week, Comets. Now let's check in with our Comet Question of the Week. Hello, Reed Custer. My name's Mr. Skasny, and here is your Reed Custer Question of the Week. What current Reed Custer Senior has qualified three times in two events in the past two years and has not yet been named all the state. Answer will follow this week's menu. Hi, I'm Jessica Boyd and on Tuesday, January 20th, we are having mini corn dogs with a roll and you guessed it, pizza. What did the plant grow in math class? He grew square roots. <laughs> I'm Tim Ray. 
morning. And on Wednesday, January 21st, we are having spaghetti with garlic bread and pork patty on a bun. My name is Marissa Soto, and on January 2nd, we're going to have ham and turkey and salt and soup and barbecue rib on a bun. Hi, I'm Zach Bidgley, and on January 23rd, you know what that means. Popcorn chicken! And pizza. The answer is B.J. Bailey. He qualified for the 200 in 2013 as a sophomore. He qualified for the 100 and 200 in 2014 as a junior. That will do it for this episode of the Chatter Newscast. Enjoy the week, comments, and thanks for watching. Thank you.